Hey there guys, Joe the Auto Guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to properly bleed the cooling system on a GM 3.1 liter V6. Very common engine in Luminas, Buicks, I mean, or Chevy, I mean, any pretty much car, 3.1, 3.4 liter. This is how you bleed the cooling system properly. So we're going to start off, show you what to do. First things first, basically you want to bleed your cooling system if you're having trouble with your heat or if you've done any service to expose air into the cooling system. On this one, I've done a water pump, and basically, you're going to, the way the, <clears throat> the way this works is you either have a, a cap here, or a cap on your coolant reservoir, so it's either a pressurized reservoir, or a pressurized system here. This is just an overflow bottle, so what you're going to do, is take your cap off, on this, these ones, you got to, it's closed, vent, push down, turn all the way, and check your coolant level. What I do, squeeze the hoses a few times. What you're going to do is you want to fill this coolant neck to the top with coolant and wait two minutes for it to drain down. Okay, so now we filled it up. We're going to wait two minutes for it to drain down and see where the level sits. So now we've waited two minutes. It's drained down enough for me. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put the cap on. Tighten it down. Make sure there's coolant in your reservoir. After you've topped off your coolant, you need a 7mm socket or a nut driver. In my case, using a 7mm socket and a ratchet. So we're going to go inside the car. This is one where the coolant gauge isn't very accurate. Oh, it doesn't give you any numbers. So, what I like to do. Sorry, that was getting annoying. What I like to do is hold my scan tool up, or hook my scan tool up. Before you start, move your coolant temperature all the way to warm, or your temp. What I do is I hook my scan tool up to read engine coolant temperature. So now what we're gonna do. As you're going to start the vehicle. So now that it's running, what you're going to do safely move your coolant cap to the vent position. If no pressure is on, well, wait till you leak a little bit of coolant out. Once you leave a little bit of coolant out, you pressurize this far enough, your level is probably okay. Do they come in here and just turn turn your vent heat all the way up. That way you can check that periodically, because what you're trying to do is bleed the air out of the system. And if you have air in the system, most likely you won't have good heat. So we're in 41 degrees. Again, that just started. You're just going to run the RPM up for a little bit. Not very high, just a little bit. Come back over the scan tool. You see our coolant temperature is on the climb. So now that it's running up a little bit, what you're going to do is use a 7mm socket and remove the upper part of this bleeder screw, just slightly. All it is is to bleed air out of the system. What I like to do is get it loose. You might hear a little air seep out. You move back far enough. We go check our coolant temperature. We're at 122. See on the gauge, if you don't have a scan tool, all right there. Now we're at 122 degrees, just waiting for this to vent. 
And as you see, we're pissing cooling out. So time to close that up. Close the vent up. Let it run for a little bit. Now this area is going to smoke because coolant fell into the exhaust. It's not a big deal. Just wait for it to burn off. Just keep cracking this bleeder open. Simultaneously. All you want to do is keep coming back here. Checking your heat. If you don't got heat, if you don't have heat, you're not done yet. You still see air bubbles coming out. And there's the smoke I was talking about. Air's coming out of it. Just gotta keep bleeding it. Sorry for the smoke in the camera. The steam. Bunch of coolant comes out. Come back. We were at 225 degrees. It's kind of hard to read that. If you can, even at all. I'm sorry. We'll go by this. We were all the way up here. We blood all the air off. It drops down to right there. That's what you want. We're starting to get good heat. So we're just going to keep running it for a little while. Open your bleeder valve again. More coolant coming out. Not great though. So you're just going to keep bleeding the system. Back and forth, back and forth. Let it run a little bit, accelerate the idle. Then you want to intermittently keep checking your cooling system. Make sure you're up to level. Crack that bleeder again. Make sure there's no air. So there you go. Cool and straight where it's supposed to be. We got great heat and uh, no leaks or anything. I'd say our coon system is bled. Again, just keep checking your level. Make sure you're tightening your cap down. Wait for this coolant to burn off. Just make sure your bleeder cap is tightened. Do not touch this one. This one will cause you a very bad day. Uh, so, there you go. Thanks for watching Joe the Auto Guy. Hope this is informative to you. Please like and subscribe. And uh, favorite if you really liked it.
You guys have a great day.